Hey everyone, I want to share some things that I've picked up to use for my planners and for my art journaling and my journals. So let's start with Tuesday morning first. I found these cute stamps. They're just like little doodle flowers. I thought those would be fun to stamp in my journals. And then I found this washi tape book, Dear Lizzie. So it's just got all these different washi strips. Then I picked up this uh, Simple Stories. It's a boy themed set. It's called Little Dude. And it just has a lot of boy themed stickers and phrases so that when I journal about my grandsons I can use those. And also for my boys. But they're kind of more kiddish so probably for the grandbabies. <laughs> Then I also found this Pebbles Birthday Wishes. Today is Carson's 14th birthday, so I will be using these in my journal. This has some really cute sentiments for birthdays. And then also this Simple Stories, it's the Dream Big and it's a unicorn, so more girly themed. So those are cute. And then I found a bunch of the illustrated faith things. So I picked up the Seeds of Faith stickers. So you get three different sheets. So those will be used in my Bible journal. And then I also got the Loved Cardstock sticker. So you get 10 sheets in here. And there's all the different sheets that you get. Then I found these, which I had been looking at these at Michael's for the longest time, but I just didn't want to pay the $4. I think they were like $4.99 just for one sheet of stickers. So I was excited to see these in Tuesday morning for just $1.19. So I got this one, which is, they have it labeled as Latin girls or Latin ladies. And then this one is the Caucasian ladies. And then we have the Asian ladies. So really happy to find those. And then these I picked up to use for Valentine's Day and forgot that they were in my pile of stuff to share, so I didn't use them. But you could use these for any time, really. I mean, look at these cute little donut people. So that's double-sided. That's cute. All right, so then over at Joanne. Thought I had these organized, but I don't. I picked up some of these detail scissors. I know that Tuesday morning had these, but I could never find them in my Tuesday morning. So these weren't too bad. They were, I think regular price, they were $5.49, so I used my 40% off coupon on it. So it probably ended up being the same amount that I would have paid at Tuesday morning. But I finally got those to cut more intricate things. And then I also picked up a new set of gelatos. This is the iridescent, uh, I don't, it doesn't have a name, I don't think. It just says iridescence. And they have like moon themed colors or space themed colors. So there's Mars, Supernova, Odyssey, Starburst, Comet, Nebula, Blue Moon, Satellite, Galaxy, Stardust, Black Hole, and Lunar. So those will be fun to use in my journals. And I picked up some of these mermaid brushes from Hobby Lobby. I used my coupon on that as well, so they were $5.99. Really cute. I needed this big fat brush for my gesso. Then, found these at Target. They are six pack double-sided markers. And I thought they were gonna be like regular markers, but they're kind of like a highlighter on the top part. They have like the chisel, the 
chisel point, which, I mean, that's fine, but I was hoping it was more of a marker type, but then it's got the that tip on the other side. So I like to use markers and things in my journals. So those were cute. Those were in the bullseye for $3. Let's see. Oh, I did also from Joanne's pick up one of the happy notes, the little tiny books, and I'm just using it basically for wish list items. But I love this little size. It's really cute. I'm thinking about picking up another one to use as a password journal for home. I did switch out the rings to the metal. I had some metal rings or discs. So I changed them into that. Then I got the new Happy Illustrations Happy Planner stickers from Hobby Lobby. They were just putting all the new Happy Planner stuff out, so, and this was the only one they had of the Happy Illustrations. But I love this book. I saw a flip through, someone did, and so I had marked it down that this was my top one that I had to find. So just really cute and I like the colors that they used for it oops sorry a little fast there's other videos of people who have done more in depth if you really want to see I'm just flipping through quickly so got that and they had their planner stuff 40% off I think Either that or I use my coupon, I can't remember. Then I went down to the Japanese store and got these cute hedgehog planner stickers. So he's doing different things. Like he's in a cupcake. <laughs> he's playing in a band down here. Playing some tennis. Really cute. There's He's a pirate that Got those for my planner, and then I found these cute markers. They have little frat bays at the top of them, and these are double sided as well. So we have this one, which is the strawberry frat bay. So there's the tip, and then the cute little cap, and then the other side is like a thinner type marker. So there's the strawberry frappe and the soft ice cream, which is like a baby blue color. Then we have kiwi fruit frappe, which is like a mint. The blueberry frappe, so it's more of a purple color. And then this is peach soda. So these are cute. And I've been on a glue kick lately. I use a lot of glue in my journal, so I go through it fairly quickly. So I picked up some of these EK Tools glue sticks. I've never used these before, so I'm not sure how well they they do. But I hope they do pretty well. I bought, I bought some from Joanne, not this brand, but it, I think it was Joanne's brand or Park Lane or something like that. And they weren't very good. They didn't stick very well. So I got two of those. And then from Jet Pens, I ordered this Tombow. It's a pit and it smells like grapefruit. <laughs> I don't, not sure why you need your glue to smell like anything, but I don't know. Tombow is a pretty good brand though, so I'm sure it'll work just fine. Then I, off of Jet Pens, I found this smaller glue stick. So this is good for like if you have smaller pieces to glue. It's got a finer, not a finer point, but just a smaller, I got a marker on my thumb, just a smaller than most. And these are refillable, so I bought two packs of the refills as well. And it was fairly cheap. I think that this was less than $3, and the refills were like $2.50 each. So I got that, and what brand is this? I think this is... No, it's not Tombow. 
just says colored glue stick. I'm not sure of the brand name, but you can find it on jet pens. Just go under glue sticks or glue. I think they have it labeled under. So I got those and then I also picked up, I love these for when I travel, the Prima glue sticks. So I got another pack of those and those were on sale for 40% off. And then online, I got from Amazon, the Jane Davenport, this is the friendship stamp set. So it's got the cute little girls to stamp. I guess I don't. Like that. And then I've also been on a pouch kick lately. So I picked this up from Joanne, which I was kind of not happy about because it was under the sign that said $3.99 and they were on they were 30% off so I thought oh that's a good deal for a little pouch but no it rang up $9.99 so it was whatever 30% off and $9.99 is but it's cute and I can use it to put like my water brushes my water brushes some of them are really long so I wanted to get a longer pouch to put those in and then I also got this one. This is the new line that Hobby Lobby put out. So it's got the cute little girls on it. That's it. And this is a personal size pouch. And the last thing I have to share is I picked this up at Walmart. It's a clear, like basically a tackle box really, but it was in the craft section. So I'm gonna use this for my art journaling supplies so that when we travel, I'll have something to put it in and I just I love clear tape boxes like this I don't know why I guess because you can see what's inside it so you know where everything is but I'm just a sucker for clear boxes <laughs> so anyway that's all I have to share today now I have to go bake a cake for Carson's birthday <laughs> and I hope you all have a great week and I'll talk to you again soon thanks for watching bye